In this video, we're going to discuss the complement as it pertains to sets. So we'll start out by giving a definition. Then we'll draw a graphical representation uh, that is like the prototypical example for Venn diagrams to describe complement. And then we'll give three examples and some practice problems at the end. Since complement is a key word, I'd like you to add it to your course notes along with some examples. Okay, so here we go. We'll start with the definition. And the definition starts out by recognizing that almost all sets live in some bigger set. So just note that sets in general live in a bigger set. Some people refer to this bigger set as um, the universal set. Or the sample space, which is more common to the world of statistics. we will denote this um, universal set or the sample space as capital S. Sometimes I'll draw serif on my S's to make sure that you recognize it as a capital letter. So for some set A, that's a subset of S, the complement of a is all the elements that are in S and not in A. So we denote the complement of a set A as a superscript lowercase letter C. And we would write this in set builder notation as all the elements that are in S such that X is not in A. Okay, so there is our definition of the complement. We'll do one property right here that should be noted. But we don't have too many general properties for the complement. So we'll just make a quick note right here. The complement is a unary operator. So notice that the complement applies to a single set. This is different than intersection or union, which was an operator that applied to two sets. The complement is a unary operator. It only applies to one set. OK, cool. We're getting some good math language as we go. Let's draw ourselves a Venn diagram. So it's common, at least for me, to represent this sample space or the universal set S as some big square. And then in it is a set A. So that means everything outside of A that is in S but not in A makes up the complement. I'll shade in just a few more things just to really emphasize that all this stuff in S but not in A is the complement of A. Okay, so that Venn diagram is pretty good. Let's get some examples going. 
Okay, the first example we'll use will be S is going to be all the letters of the alphabet, the English alphabet. And I'm not going to write them out, so we'll just use dot, dot, dot to represent it. So if A is equal to the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, then A complement is all the consonants we call them. Whoops. That goes B, C, D, F, G, H, skip I, J, K, L, and wow, am I really doing that? all of these? Okay, I guess so. N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, uh, I'm running out of room, Z. So you see, all the letters we are skipping are A, E, I, O, and U because A complement is start with all the elements in S and essentially remove the ones that are in A. Okay, so that's a pretty good example. It doesn't have to be numbers in your sets. It could be arbitrary objects like letters. Let's try another example. We'll say S is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be another simple and silly example. A is equal to two, four, six. A complement is then equal to one, three, and five. Okay, I don't need to dwell on that one too long. So we'll do one more example. This one will be a little bit more challenging. Let's say S is equal to the real numbers and A is equal to just the point zero. Then A complement could be written certainly um, as a union of intervals. So let's say from negative infinity up to zero, but not including zero, because we just removed it. Union, zero, again, exclusive, up to positive infinity. So in this case, A complement would be like the domain of the function one over x. Hey, that's pretty cool, because you can't divide by zero in the function one over x. So we have to take zero out of this, but all other real numbers work. Hey, that's not so bad. And we even got to practice our union operation here. Okay, so complement's not too difficult an idea. So I'm going to immediately jump into some practice problems here and let you work on these on your own. But of course, if you need help with them, uh, please do join me in office hours. Let S be the sample space, this like universal space such that the set A lives in. I'm actually going to leave it a little bit general. So then you should determine what A union A complement is equal to. Two, try out A intersect A complement. These are all here for you to fill in the blanks. And three, A complement complement. Uh-oh, what happens there? Well, that's for you to think about. Okay, this was a quick video on the complement where we got uh, a nice graphical representation using the Venn diagram, some quick examples, and some practice problems here for you at the end.